Oh, really? Well, let's check this out, shall we? Let's check this on out. Ryan Gosling? Hmm. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and we have so much to talk about today. I am super excited. San Diego Comic-Con is right around the corner. And, of course, Marvel Studios has officially that confirmed that they are going to be attending and are going to be at Hall H. And we have okay. a few details about the panel and what we should look forward to at Hall H this year. Meanwhile, we also have some news about the Fantastic Four cast, and it looks like the direction that it is going may not be what the fans were exactly expecting and maybe hoping for. I personally think that it could actually be a really good thing, but we'll dive into that in just a bit. Also, Ryan Gosling has recently talked about the rumors that he has been cast as the MCU's Nova. Insiders state that he has recently met with Marvel Studios about a role that he is going to be playing in the MCU, but Ryan Gosling has apparently denied these rumors, but has said that he does want to play a specific superhero in the MCU. The only question is, is he lying? Of course, if he is playing Nova in the MCU, he can't exactly come out and say it, but we'll talk about that in just a bit. Let's dive into what to expect from Hall H because I know fans are really, really excited for this. Now, first of all, fans weren't really expecting Marvel Studios to be at San Diego Comic-Con because of D23 and Disney Plus Day. Even though San Diego Comic-Con is typically the huge event of the year, that's where they reveal all of their big stuff, all of their breaking news, their new shows, their new movies. It's usually there. In 2019, they revealed the entirety of Phase 4. So, fans are hoping for some big reveals here, but here is what the description about their panel says. And they actually have two panels. One is much shorter and one is the Hall H panel. But for those of you who are interested in Marvel's animation projects like Marvel Zombies, What If, and the new X-Men 97 animated series coming out, this is going to be of interest to you. It is on July 22nd from 11.45 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. And this is what it says they'll be talking about. Marvel Studios Head of Streaming, Television, and Animation, Brad Winderbaum. Head of Visual Development, Ryan Minardine. And special guests dive into all things animation with exclusive looks at X-Men 97, Marvel Zombies, What If Season 2, and more. So, we are going to be getting an official look and reveal at X-Men 97. I know a lot of fans, including myself, are really excited for that animated project coming to Disney+. Plus. So, great news on July 22nd, which is 10 days away, we are going to be getting our first look. Now, of course, Hall mm -hmm. H is what everybody is really looking forward to. If they were going to do any big reveal about the Fantastic Four or the X-Men or Kang or Doom or Galactus or anyone, it is going to be at Hall H. It is on July 23rd, so 11 days away, okay. and it is from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. It says, Marvel Studios president That's and producer now. Kevin Feige and special guests provide an inside look of the ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe. An inside look that's really exciting, but here's something that I want you to keep in mind. Disney Plus Day is coming up not too long after this, and they're going to talk about all their Disney Plus shows. And I would prefer Hall H to kind of talk about the movies and not the Disney Plus shows since they're going to get a whole day for the movies. But also keep in mind that rumors have it that Marvel Studios is going to be revealing a lot of stuff at D23 as well. So I'm almost thinking of this like a part one and a part two. And kind of like a part 1.5 for Disney Plus Day in the middle. But part one, okay. Hall H, we get a lot of new information from Marvel Studios there. Some big reveals, hopefully some trailers, then we get Disney Plus Day, where we get information and new clips from Disney Plus shows, and then D23, where we get a lot of other reveals, hopefully. Now, as far as what we are expecting to see, I am expecting to see new footage or trailers from upcoming projects like Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. These are the next projects coming out, and we're getting to the point to where we're almost due for a Black Panther, Wakanda Forever trailer. So if they do drop any type of footage or a trailer, I think it's most likely going to be for Wakanda Forever since that is the next movie that is upcoming. Mm. But like I said, keep in mind Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is not too far after Black Panther 2 so maybe they'll give us both. Maybe they'll give us both at Hall H, but maybe they'll give us one at Hall H and then the other at D23. Now, the casting rumors for the Fantastic Four have been going crazy. And there have been a lot of interesting rumors out there from the fan castings like John Krasinski playing Mr. Fantastic, mm. which, you know, ended up happening in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, to other fan castings like Zac Efron playing the Human Torch, and to other major reports stating that Jason Segal has been cast as the Thing. 
been grim and that he will be actually appearing in the She-Hulk series in the final episodes of the She-Hulk series. Now, this is just a rumor. Okay. This is not confirmed in any way, but the reports have been flying. Now, there are some reliable insiders that are typically right about a lot of the reports that they put out. People like Daniel RBK, accounts the like light shining in their face right and now. others <laughs> out there. And with casting, it's always really tricky because <laughs> casting can always change and sometimes misinformation is spread on purpose. But sadly, right now, it appears that John Krasinski might not actually be playing Mr. Fantastic and his wife isn't going to be playing the Invisible Woman that and neither sucks. will Bryce Dallas Howard be playing the Invisible Woman or directing the movie as was reported a bit mm. ago and here's apparently why some insiders have heard that marvel studios is actually looking to cast a mr fantastic sue storm ben Grimm, and a human torch around 20 to 30 years old now keep in mind if these reports are true they are castings for people not characters they want the actors to be 20 to 30 years old because right. let's face it sometimes actors who are in their late 20s play high school students in movies that happens a lot but yeah. here's the really really cool thing this about if on. this is actually true and they are looking to cast actors in the age range of 20 to 30 years old. This means we will be getting a origin story of the Fantastic Four. Mm. Now, in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we did meet a Mr. Fantastic slash Reed Richards who was already well established. The Illuminati's headquarters was literally in the Baxter building. Mr. Fantastic was using great technology to teleport himself into the building, which was revealed to be Doom technology, or inspired by it at least. But then Mr. Fantastic goes on to tell Wanda that he has kids of his own, in which she asked if their mother is still alive, and he replied, Yes, further confirming that this is a much established Mr. Fantastic oh, oh. in the 838 universe. Which is fantastic, pun intended, but we would like to see the origin story, wouldn't we? I certainly would. And the fact that, if this is true, they are casting between 20 to 30 years old means that it is going to be a true origin story for the Fantastic Four. I think it would be kind of weird to just throw them in there already established. And even if they did that, eventually they would have to kind of tell us their origin story anyway, so might as well start off with the origin. I guess. Marvel is really good at this, and this is what they've been doing lately with their Disney Plus shows, taking their time to introduce characters. Now, of course, the Fantastic Four is not going to be a Disney Plus show. It's going to be a movie, but I do hope it is an origin movie, and this casting age range leads us to believe that they are indeed going to be doing an origin story, but unfortunately, that would mean that John Krasinski would not play Mr. Fantastic. Now, it was confirmed that it was kind of fan fulfillment there. Kevin Feige kind of casted John Krasinski as the Illuminati Mr. Fantastic because he saw all the fan castings about him. So, unfortunately, that might be the only time we see Krasinski Krasinski as That's cool Mr. Picture. Fantastic. But also, according to new reports, Ryan Gosling might be joining the MCU. There's been a That's lot of a reports stating that right he there. has been cast as Nova, <laughs> and recently Daniel RBK like that. stated that he has met with Marvel Nova. Studios about a specific role. Now, in a recent interview with Josh Horowitz from MTV, Ryan Gosling said that the rumors about him playing Nova were not true, but... He said that there is one superhero that he does want to play in the MCU, and that is Ghost Rider. Now, Ghost Rider is an awesome character, and I'm sure any actor would love to play Ghost Rider. I just don't see it. Sorry, especially after seeing those Barbie it's photos sad. of him. I, I feel like Ghost Rider needs to be a little bit more rugged. But hey, he's it, a really diverse know. actor. I'm sure he could do it. However, we have to ask ourselves, is he lying? Because obviously <laughs> he can't just come out and say, oh yeah, those rumors about me playing Nova, those are true. So just because he says he's not doesn't mean that he actually is not playing Nova. Have we learned nothing from Spider-Man No Way Home? These actors are under contracts. They could not say they are playing these characters even if they wanted to. But let yeah. me know your thoughts about this. Do you think Ryan Reynolds is playing Nova? And do you think he could actually play a good Ghost Rider? Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know your thoughts about the fantastic forecasting. And what you're most excited to hear or see from Hall H at San Diego Comic-Con and Disney's D23. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. All I want is for everything to be good coming out. That's all I want. Just focus on great entertainment. Don't woke it up and everybody's going to be happy. The majority of people will be happy and you'll make money hand over fist. That's what I want. Um, could Ryan Gosling play? I don't know. I mean, I think he could pull it off. I mean, Nick Cage pulled it off. So I guess he could pull it off. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I'm more concerned about the Fantastic Four. I like them. 
uh, I would like to see uh, Jim <laughs> from The Office play Mr. Fantastic. I would because they just killed him like that. He didn't get a chance to do anything. It's one of those fan casting cameos that it might be a once and done, one and done. And I don't like that. I'd like to see him come back and play our version of him and see what happens. But, you know, who knows what they'll do. Thank you very much for the info, Cosmic Wonder. Get over to Cosmic Wonder and subscribe. And if you enjoyed my reaction to the news and my thoughts on the news, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers will...